Imagine getting smarter without trying. But how do you define intelligence? IQ tests seem to be pretty popular. The scores aren't always accurate. Neither is the weather forecast, but I still listen to it. It turns out, just being born later actually gives you a higher IQ. Ah! Just hold on! What? Push him out first! Not by minutes, by decades! Oh. Our average IQ has actually been increasing by about three points every decade. But that can't be linear. Did we cause this? Why is this happening? Is it going to stop? Is it going to slow down? Is it going to reverse? Are we going to get dumb? Is this when robots take over the world? You know we're in education longer and our food system's better, so that's probably got something to do with it. This is the effect known as the Flynn effect, which is where our IQ is increasing over time, but this is starting to slow down. I knew it. It's your fault. What is? It's just your fault. What is? not do anything. Doesn't matter. It's still your fault. It's interesting that tools and technology actually potentially could have been the reason for our IQ increasing. I know, completely contrary to what I was told as a kid. Get off your phone, you're gonna lose brain cells! How does scrolling social media improve our IQ? I don't. How does playing games on a PC or on console improve our IQ? But I don't. How can watching explosions in movies improve our IQ? I don't think it is that literal. It turns out that technology and technological advancements have actually helped us think a little bit more outside of the box and more with hypothetical situations. So if I spend more time on social media, I will get smarter. Again, I don't think it is that literal. In the past, we looked at things that were there, the things that were concrete, the ones and zeros of the world, even though we're not robots, but we didn't really think about the wider possibilities of everyday situations. Did you know one add one is three? No, it's not. It's two. What if it was 1.4 add 1.4? Well, that is 2.8. Yeah, and if you round those numbers, 1.4 is the one, 2.8 is three. You see, the IQ test actually tests a lot of abstract thinking, so individuals in the past would have struggled with understanding some of these abstract thoughts because they were, they were concrete thinkers. But as time has moved forwards, we have become more abstract thinkers thinking outside of the box, so we actually get more of the answers to the IQ tests, leading to a smarter population. So if we are thinking more outside of the box and being more abstract, what happens to the concrete things? Nothing. That is what science is for. No, science explores the unknown and looks to prove the hypothesi, hypothesis, hypotheses. This abstract thinking doesn't mean we always come up with the best answers. If we get rid of the decimal point, it's no longer a problem. True, but I don't think we can do that. Why not? Because it is how things are done. Meh, the old people can change. But this does mean when we see something, we are more likely to come up with multiple possibilities, multiple solutions, or just come up with generally interesting thoughts. You know you cover your mouth when you yawn. Yeah. Well, when you're wearing a mask, your mouth is already covered, so do you still need to cover your mouth? Because technically, the mask is already covering your mouth. Yeah, I, I got that bit. So we don't need to cover our mouths, right? I don't know. But we should, because that's what we would be doing anyway. I don't care. So if we are all getting smarter, does that mean we are all becoming gifted? You're both gifted! But he's only gifted at being annoying! No, I'm not. R2. 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 Not. R2. Not. R2. Not. R2. Not. R2. Not. R2. 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 Now we can argue back and forth and debate tons. But being abstract thinkers means we should be able to come up with multiple points of view. But I don't want to think like you. You just don't think. Not about random rubbish, I don't. But everything needs to be critiqued and analysed. Yeah, even those like pesky apostrophes people miss when they're typing online. Exactly. Did they not go to school or something? Oh, they did. They just don't care because the word doesn't change. I'm not saying we will agree with all of the different points of view, but we should at least be able to listen to other perspectives. Okay, why do you think I'm annoying? You just are. Oh, that's not a reason. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. No! Yeah. It then comes down to linking these abstract thoughts normally with a bit of logic, typically backed by some sort of science. 
peer-reviewed empirical evidence, I hope. If I read it online, I'm good. So with technology giving us different ideas, different thoughts, different availability for communicating, different opinions, different perspectives, and combining these things with abstract thinking and a little bit of logic to combine them together, we should be smarter as long as we are present and open-minded. We have all been getting smarter, and most of us are probably more tech-savvy than our parents, I know I am. But when you look at some of the kids, they're coding games and building robots, and I'm like, I don't even know the first thing about that. And I'm at the risk, well, I'm at the risk, I, I will become one of those people that is just dumb, feeling old and just out of touch. Abstract thinking is great. Lifelong learning is really important. But if you're not doing anything concrete with the ideas and the abstract thinking that you're doing, you're either revising information for an exam so you can regurgitate it in an exam and then forget it like a few months after, or you're overthinking. <laughs> Hashtag guilty of that one. <laughs>